Hey, it's Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager. And this necklace is very tribal-ish. It's Indian also, very different than what I normally wear because me, I usually am like the queen of sparkles. So this is very different, it's very beady. Yeah, so I'm answering questions from actors and I'm also trying on and playing with my jewelry at the same time so that I can do something fun for myself while I'm giving back to my community of actors that I love and adore. This question is, what is a callback? Producer session and network session. What is a callback? Producer session, network session. Okay, a callback is, first of all, before a callback, you have just an audition. It's called a pre-read. And what it means is they're pre-reading you to see if you are the right type of character, type of essence for the role. And if you are, they'll give you a callback and you can come in and show us again what you can do because we're narrowing it down. So let's talk about the audition process in general, right? They might get 2,000 submissions for a role. And out of that 2,000, they may decide to audition 100 people. The reason that they pick those people is they looked at their headshots and they think, yeah, that has the energy and the essence of the character that I'm looking for. Let's see them. And on their screen, all these pictures show up, all these little headshots of all these actors applying to be seen for that role. And they just click all the buttons of the ones they want to see. Click, 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 click. Now, what they do is they look at your acting reel, your clip. They go and they say the picture fits the description. Let me see if they can act. Now they watch your clip. And if the acting is good, because ultimately it all comes down to whether the acting is good. You could have the greatest headshot in the world, but if the acting isn't good, nobody cares. So is the acting good? Is it believable? Okay, let me do a pre-read with them. Meaning I don't know this actor, so I have to pre-read them because I'm not taking them to my boss, which would be the producers or the television network, until I know this actor myself, right? It's like you are referring someone that you don't even know. So wait a minute, before I do that, I'm going to check them out first, and that's called a pre-read, which is always the very first audition of a job. Now, once you've done the pre-read, they're going to say, I believe this actor. It does have the right kind of feel that the writer's looking for, that the director's looking for. It's got the right energy. Let's go on to the next level, which is the callback. Now, most people don't go to the callback because they're narrowing it down to one person, right? Remember, they're narrowing it down to one person. So whoever's closest to the essence of that character, and this is what you can't control. You can't control your essence. Whatever closest to that essence of the character and fits what the writer has in their mind, gonna go to the callback. The callback is where maybe there might be other people in the callback, a director, a writer, something like that. They're gonna ask you to do it, again, and whatever notes they gave you in the first audition, if they said, try it a little more like this, try a little more like that, do what they said. And now the next level, if they think, yeah, this is working. Uh, we've been comparing these actors to each other and we feel like you have the right essence. You have a great attitude in the audition room. You've been on time both times. You really are putting yourself a thousand percent into it. You have a good attitude. You fit the energy and essence of the character. We like your delivery. It's, it's really good. Let's send you to the producer's session. That's the next level up. You have to go through all these different auditions, right? The producer session, now the people with the money who are paying for this film or television show, they wanna see what the choices are that the casting director has suggested. So you go to the producer session. In that session, the producer might have some notes for you. Why don't you try a little bit like this? Uh, could you try it a little like that? The director could be in that room as well, whether it's in person or in Zoom, there'd be more boxes with more people. And the director might have some ideas. The writer could be in that room and they could have some ideas. Why don't you try it like this? We love what you're doing. Could we do a little more here, a little more there? Because that's what your job is as an actor is to tell the story that the writer has written. And the director's job is to direct you to tell the story that the writer has written. So they're trying to see who can take direction and who fits what the writer's looking for. Now, the producer session, if it's a film, that's probably the final session because they're usually the executive producers as well. 
But when it comes to television, there's a network session, another level. And there's a couple other levels in there which are called chemistry reads and mix and match, which basically means we've got three actresses that we've settled on and three actors that we've settled on and only one actress is going to get the job and only one actor is going to get the job. But let's have them all act with each other and see who has good chemistry, who fits as lovers, as brother and sister, as boyfriend and girlfriend, who fits together. So that man is going to act with all three women. Each man will act with all three women. Each woman will act with all three men. And then they're going to, they're going to film it. It's a screen test, right? They're going to see who fits and looks good on film. And once they have that idea, the network will make a choice. The network is responsible for the final casting of everything you see on television. The network is the, are the people putting the money in. So they make the final decision about the actor that's being cast. As you can see, there are so many people involved with the process that you worrying about whether you got it or not is just a waste of your time. Do your audition and go back to class, right? Do your audition and go back to the short film you're writing and shooting. Do your audition and go back to doing theater. Your job is not to worry about whether you're going to get the role or not. If you get it, they will call you and let you know. Now, when there's a film, usually it's, there's not a, a network involved, but sometimes there is um, a studio, Warner Brothers. Um, and it's like the, not just the producers, but the head of a, a studio. And they might have something to say about who's cast as well. So you go on your first audition. If they, if they, like the, if they think you're right for the role, then they give you a call back. If you're still in contention, they give you a producer session. Then you might have a, a, a screen test, a mix and match, a, a chemistry read. Then you have a network session. And then they offer you the part. And congratulations, you booked the job. But what could happen? They could replace you. It happens. That's why you don't want to get attached to any results. Your job is to act, show up. Do the best work you can. Always leave with a positive impression. The next thing we're going to do is, oh my goodness, what can you post about auditions and acting jobs and what can you not post about them? That's a great question. People get really excited when they get booked. I look forward to answering that question in the next video. Subscribe and like this channel. I'm answering questions. I'm reading your comments below and we've compiled 158 questions and I'm answering them in videos and I'm just banging them out one after another scheduling them all through the week. I'm just going to preset them so they keep popping up. So hit your notifications so you know when my answers are coming. And let's see what the next one's going to bring. What kind of necklace is coming with the next video? Two birds with one stone. <laughs>